Hello everybody, I am Developer Relations Engineer David jones Gilardi, and today we're going to dive into how to use MCP servers within Langflow. Um, now, Langflow already has access to all sorts of tools, and what's super cool about MCP is not only does it expand that list of tools greatly, but you can also use your Langflow flows as MCP tools themselves. So let's go ahead and take a look. Now, on the left-hand side, I have Langflow. Um, it's the latest version here. You know, it's got all the MCP support. I'm going to show this to you in a moment. But on the right side, um, I want you to, there's two sites here that I think are really important on your MCP journey. One of them is Model Context Protocol, the GitHub repo. Um, this has this wonderful list of all sorts of MCP servers that you can use. Um, and we're going to experiment a little bit with these in just a moment. The one on the bottom here is mcp.so. Um, instead of just being a GitHub repository, you know, it's essentially a full searchable website that you can go through. Um, it's got all sorts of categories. Again, it has all sorts of tools that then you can explore and use in your flows. So how do you actually use these? All right, so let's check it out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a new flow here in Langflow. I'm just going to use the normal simple agent. Nothing different there. So great. I have my agent. You can see by default, I already have a set of tools, my URL tool, my calculator tool that are hooked up to my agent that I can use to then, you know, give it agency. I can say things like, hey, summarize a website for me or whatever, you know, get information from such and such. Langflow already has support for all sorts of tools and capabilities. MCP does not change that. It adds to it right okay so let's go ahead and see what we can do here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to make a little space i'm going to get rid of the url tool and i'm just going to type mcp maybe i want to do a little bit more um i happen to work with vision models a lot so i'm going to go to everart um everart is actually super cool uh, because it allows me to directly generate images without having to code up an api or anything like that um, now this one does in fact require an api key that's why I want to point this out. In this case, I'm going to use MPX. I'm going to bring over my component, clean some things up here, okay? And we'll zoom in. So what I'm going to do is, like I said before, I'm going to follow this command. Now, here's one key difference is that this one has an environment variable of everart API key. So what do I need to do? Well, I'm going to say env. I'm going to set that environment variable first is what I'm doing, right? All right, and then I'm going to go ahead and grab my key. Okay. Right, so everyone gets to see my key that I get to delete later. And then I'm going to say npx y. I'm just following this right here. And then this last part. Okay, let's go ahead and refresh. If I did that right, I should see a tool show up. Okay, and check it out. Boom, there we go. So now. I have this image generation capability um, that I can expose as a tool. And again, the various parameters are exposed for me. I can see which ones are in fact um, required. Um, so anyway, so what we're going to do though is we're going to put this in the tool mode, just like before. Okay, great. Now I should see that I have my generate image tool. Great. I see that I have a set of model types that I can use. Okay, I'm going to hook this up as a tool. And now I'm going to come into my playground. And, you know, I was asking about langflow.org before, and I can just do something like this, generate a single image of a cute animal in pixel art style. And this time I actually want to tell it, use model 5000. And why? Because, you know, using using this particular EverArt tool, model 5000 is the lower quality one that kind of fits my pixel art style um, the best. And boom, there we go. So now I... All of a sudden, I have this ability to generate images right here in my flows. So this is kind of the power or part of the power of what MCP can do for us, right? Now, the last thing I want to show you here, which is where I think is probably one of the most cool things, is the fact that Langflow itself is also an MCP server, meaning you can expose all of your flows as tools. And then you can offer up like kind of like a chain of some really pretty complex actions. All right, so here I am in my cursor IDE and cursor has support for MCP. Now, what I want you to notice is here at the very top, you can see I have this item for Langflow and this server link. So any of your Langflow servers, wherever you have them hosted, they're going to have this uh, this API endpoint, this MCP, this slash MCP slash SSE. 
And once you do that, you come up here, you see a refresh. It's going to grab any of the flows that are in your Langflow, and now it exposes them as MCP tools, right? So you can see I have this Everart one. I've got a travel planning agent. So let's go ahead and do a quick test. I'm going to go ahead and say, hey, I'd like to travel to Orlando, Florida for three days with your $300 budget. Now, what I wanted to do, which is what it just did here, saying, hey, I'm going to call this MCP tool, this travel planning agent. That is, in fact, my Langflow flow. I'll say run tool, and now it's going to invoke that agent. So this is super powerful, giving me the ability now to, via the MCP capabilities of Langflow, I can expose any flow as an MCP tool. So now you can see that the cursor agent called my travel planning agent flow as an MCP tool. Here's the input, you know, this, its own agent did this part, uh, and then it gets this nice response here that is actually coming from my agentic AI flow in Langflow, um, but again, just treating it like an MCP tool. So there you have it. Not only does Langflow have support for MCP tools itself, it is also an MCP server, allowing you to expose your Langflow flows as tools to any application that can use them. And with that, we'd love to see the new types of things that you build with this capability. Go to the Discord, let us know what you're working on, and show us all the cool things that you're doing. Take care, everybody. Happy coding.